In this video that I want to make, and I want you to take time and listen to what I want to say, it will do you do you good as you listen. I want to tell you the origin of demonic churches in Nigeria. The origin of the demonic, why you see demonic churches everywhere in Nigeria. Why everywhere is being filled with demonic and the evil churches and the evil pastors. Listen, I want to tell you something. Just listen, man. The mega churches in Nigeria, let me start by this. The mega churches in Nigeria, number one, I want to start from Adeboye. Adeboye is a white garment church. White garment church man. You know what's called white garment church? He's a white garment church man. I move on. Wadebo is a white garment church man. TB Joshua is a white garment church man. I just want to use this to these three people to talk to you now. So this why I said they are white government church, just listen. White government church power is from the water. Their power is from the sea, ocean. From the river, let me put it like this. They are calling Jesus Christ. But it's not anything that you are worshipping is your own Jesus Christ. The original Jesus Christ is the one, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The one that died and rose. is the original. But there are fake Jesus. People can choose anything they want to worship. Somebody who is worshiping a python, can, that python is his own Jesus because Jesus means a savior. So that person that is worshiping python, that python is his own savior. So don't be, don't be deceived when you see them calling Jesus. Don't be deceived because there are many fake Jesus. Don't be deceived when you see them carrying Bible because you can't do they can't do with that Bible. Bible is two edged sword. Bible is either you use it for good and it work, it will be a blessing to you, or you use it for your evil, it will turn to curse for that person. When the devil came to deceive Adam, Adam, Adam and Eve, he came with the word of God by asking them what did God said about this, about this. So without bringing that word. The devil will not catch, so pick it. Why giving church people the spirit that's that they're operating with? If you, the spirit that they are that's they are operating in white garment church is mermaid spirit, marine. That's why they don't they don't play with going to the sea to do sacrifice or to do prayer. They, they, they always they always at the seaside. The, the spirit that they are worshiping, the, the, the power that is that is that, 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 that they are operating with is man-made power. So forget that Adeboye changed and begin to put on put on suit. Uh did what changed as well and begin to put on suit. Before TB Joshua is having a very long beer beer that look like Osama bin Laden. Very long beer beer. And he is not wearing suit. So people noticed some people that is wise. I'm not talking about the foolish people. I'm not about the gullible. Some people that is wise knows, knows that then that he is not a man of God. That this one is a man of the devil. That's why even up to now, Adebuye is always separating himself from him because he knows that so many people know that he is he is truly he's not anointed by God. His own is visible. So that's why he's running away. He doesn't want people to see that he had his associated association with him. But they are the same. TB Joshua, Adeboye, Kumuyi, Redepo. All this I'm talking, they are white garment church people. So when Oya Kilomi visited 
visited TB Joshua. You know, in search of power, he went to go and to, to ask him to, 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 to give him some power to add because that one is always is always first, you know, pressing for power, searching for power. He went to ask him to give please give me some. Add, give me some. So after the after he visited him, you people know this the, the case. Then the whole thing was exposed. This is the time he advised him to begin to at least to polish himself, you know, to blend. He asked him to blend so that people will not be scared, will not be seeing you as that uh, you know you are not that that you are dirty, that you are not um, neat. So this is the time he cut that beard. There he cut that beard and stop uh, and, and begin to cut his hair and begin to wear suit, begin to dress like his brother and therefore and all of them. So he begin to wear suit. He begin to to modern, modernize, begin to, you know, to blend so that people will say, oh, it's a man of God. So this is how it started. Now, now, listen very careful. In churches, church, the, the, in, in churches of Nigeria, the church in Nigeria, all you will be seeing is immorality. And in your white government churches, the, the level of immorality the level of immorality I'm, I'm talking about, if you see the sex that is going on in white garment church, they will dance, 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 when the spirit will catch them, they will just carry their gown, come the, 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 the um, shepherd or the, the, the priest, it, everybody will just do it, they, they will just be, immorality is said, it's a common thing, it's a common thing in white garment church. That one, I am telling you, people are telling now it's not to be true. The immorality in the in, in white government church is great. And the immorality comes from Marine. Marine is the mother of immorality. Immoral woman. So this is a sign where his spirit his spirit, where her spirit is operating. And in the church, church, of, church of Nigeria, you can see immorality that is going on among the pastors and the members. The, Sexual, I'm talking about sexual immorality. The sexual, that is, the sexual immorality that's going on doesn't doesn't have part two. In to tell you that it's the spirit, mermaid spirit, mermaid spirit at work. Mermaid spirit at work. Okay, we move on. Bad business. The bad business that is going on in the churches of Nigeria is great. They are the ones that started what we are seeing today. Uh, young boys searching, searching for women's undies to use to do money ritual. But they are the ones that started it. They are the ones that released the spirit that entered into the youth. Entered into, into the youth and the evil way of making money. Can't you see in their evil, evil way a pastor is driving private jet, one, two, three, four, building schools, universities, riding all Porsche cars that they want to ride, having millions in account, bad business. They are doing dirty business. They are into, because that mommy's spirit is the, uh, is the I mean, it claim to be, you know, commercialism, you know, comm you know business. You know, dirty business is the one in terms of dirty business. If you go in the book of Revelation, I want to read something for you so that you can get me very clear in this video because I want to open your eyes to understand why young boys are hunting the on this women's pants to make ritual in Nigeria and all the immorality that you are seeing in the churches of in, in, in Nigerian churches. So I just want to open your eyes in this video. Open your eyes so you to understand that it is the church. That caused all these things. It is the evil churches in Nigeria that caused all these things we are seeing. I want to read something for you. I want to read something for you now. Just listen before I proceed. I'm reading the book of Revelation chapter chapter 18. Chapter 18 from verse 1. I told you number one thing, immorality is a spirit, it's a mermaid spirit, it's a spirit of water, mermaid spirit, marine spirit. So that is in the white garment church, 
that those pastors, people are seeing in Nigeria, they are all white government church pastors. Especially those mega mega churches, mega pastors that is moving with jets, building schools and the and the building uh, the, the highest churches. They, their power is from marine. Their power is from water. They are white government church, celestial church, celestial uh, uh, church of Christ, um, cherubim and seraphim. Uh, all this, you know, you know what I mean. So I, I, I go on now. Let me read something for you. After, say, after these things, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and and the earth was illuminated with his glory. And he cried mightily with a loud voice, saying, "Babylon, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become a dwelling place of demons, a prison for every foul spirit." And a cage for every unclean and hated bed. For all, for all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Fornication. If you come to Mary, and first thing you do is you must have fornication with her. You must be one with her. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the, and the merchants, businessmen, and the merchants of the earth have become rich through the abundance of her luxury. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, my people. Lest you share in her sins, and lest you receive of her plagues. For her sins have reached to heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Render to her just as she rendered to you, and repair her double according to her works. In the core which she has mixed, makes double for her. In the measure that she glorified herself, and lived luxuriously, in the same measure give her torment and sorrow. For she said in her heart, I see it as spring in the oceans, in the water, and I'm no widow, and will not see sorrow. Therefore, her plagues will come in one day, death, and the morning, and the famine. This is what's, what's coming upon fake churches now. This is what's coming upon marine, marine churches now. This is what is coming upon them now. Therefore, her plagues will come in one day, death, and the morning, and the famine. And she will be utterly born with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. I move on now. The merchants of the earth. She is the one that's claiming to control businessmen. That's why, especially from where I come from, England, it was in some parts in England, they are specialized in ritual money. They will go to the water, marine. They can give any of their family member and they will pump money to them. And this is what's happening in Nigerian churches. The pastors giving the life of the members and the Mamed kingdom, marine kingdom is pumping money to them. They are in assignment with marine kingdom. Evil business. So the evil business you are seeing, your pastors is into evil and dirty business with the politicians. Especially supplying them human blood, supplying them a, 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 a life, giving life to Mamed to marine spirit feeding feeding the devil so that's this you know you seeing your youth being into yahoo yahoo into yahoo yahoo modernizing every day going now digital in taking women on this or their monetary uh, sanitary pad to go and give the native doctor in you know to do to do money ritual it is your pastors that started it first. They are the first to start this pants business, this on this business, this pad business, because it is in different forms. So they are doing their own internationally with politicians, supplying them human blood, supplying marine, all that marine need, moving money, helping the politicians to move money with their private jet to abroad. So all this is a dirty business that come from where from their root, where they get their power, say a white government church. Now, another thing is I said to you, first of all, immorality in the Nigerian churches. Immorality is great. Number two is bad business. The bad business that is going on. In Nigerian churches is great. It's a sign of marine. It's a sign that these people 
they do not know God. As I said to you, they are they don't know Jesus. They don't know whom God is. They don't know whom Jesus is. They are anointed by Marian. They are serving Marian. They are feeding Marian. So you can understand clearly what I'm saying. Another thing is you can see the way they have a stony heart. No matter how you try to warn them or to say what God is telling them, they know that there's any truth, but they can't turn back because they have given their soul. They have sold their soul to the devil. The devil has given them, given them a stony heart. Because the first thing that married women do to them is to have sex with them. Even the GOs, they take their uh, the pastors when they finish the Bible uh, college or Bible school, they took them to the edge of the babies to go and have sex with Mamet so that they can begin to see in the supernatural. So Mamet, when they have sex, the Mamet will release his poison inside of them. We become, become one with them. Then they, they, and they begin to look, see in, you know, in the supernatural, they begin to see people's problems. They can see you and tell you the color of the undies you are putting on. They can tell you all your problems, but they can never bring solution to that problem because they are the architect of that your problem. They will come in the night and whip you. And the daytime will tell you, oh, last night somebody beat you, but they are the one that whip you in the night. They will come in the night to come and sex you as a spiritual husband. They will sex you in the, in the night, in the name of the spirit, in the night, torment you, come and sex you. And when they finish sexing you, when you come to, the, to, to them, they say, oh, you have, a, you have a spiritual husband. I think you, you always have a, somebody coming to sex you in the night. I have to, I want to pray for you. But they are the ones that came to sex you in the night. They are the abst abstract of your problem. They will come and they kill somebody in your family. Or um, you know, when they kill, they will come and say they, they came to raise that person back to life so that people will keep believing them with their faith, with their, with their, with their, with their magical power. We say, oh, somebody died. Come on, raise, they, they, they raise the person back to life. You don't know that they're going to come and kill that person. So come and say, okay, come back to life. So that the person, because the person not they die. They only come and decide their power on that person so that you keep on believing them. This is what's happening, happening in Illuminati. When somebody joins Illuminati, let me tell you something. The person has to make love with a python or with a snake or with a mummy, with a beast. In, I know. Illuminati court in America, I'm telling you the truth. Now, this is how it is done. They, they, an animal will make sex with them. That's why they are, they are stony. They cannot change. And you, if you look at the life of all these Illuminati people, immorality that is going among them is great. It is great. Immorality that is going, going and they are busy hunting. If you are doing a business and you are, you are, you are making a claim money, in America, they will do everything possible to get you down to, to come and join them. This is what the Nigerian pastors are doing. So, if they see a true anointed man of God, they will do everything, they will, they will join hands together to frustrate that person so that person will, will, will fall, will, will, will become frustrated and come to them for them to be the same. So, I just want to use this video to open your eyes for you to understand, understand what. You are maybe troubled of what, of what you have been, the answer that you have, the question you ask that you are waiting for the answer. I'm giving you the answer now so that you will be without no excuse. You will not say that you're not here. You have heard. So you are old man. You are inexcusable. So now you see Nigeria is filled with Yahoo Yahoo and they are spread all over the world, spread. All, all over Africa. There's nothing Nigerian youth is doing than Yahoo Yahoo. When their pastors introduce them to it, when their pastor releases it every Sunday, read that spirit to them. Read the spirit of Yahoo Yahoo to them. Telling them that you, you, it, 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 they don't preach any other thing to the people. They don't preach salvation anymore. They don't preach you know, holiness anymore, righteousness anymore. All that they are telling them is that, uh, telling, telling them everything is money, 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 money. Why, why won't the people go to an extreme to get that money? Christ's embassy started this. His members will be shouting, 
I need my money. I need my money. I need I need uh, uh, my dollar. I need shouting. One day I confronted them in Lagos. I was very angry with them. I said, you are living in Nigeria. And I said, I need my dollar. I need my dollar. I need my, I need my pounds. So you must go and be doing inter in Yahoo to get dollar or get to get pounds because you're in Nigeria. You're supposed to be talking about Naira. Talking about Naira, bit, you are talking about hard currency. This is how they will do the evil business and they come and give to them. And they will accept from them and bless them. This is how they are busy wearing expensive suits, buying Porsche cars, coming out with private jets with their evil business. Now, your pastors, why you see Nigeria being quartered with darkness? Why you see Nigeria filled with all manner of immorality? Why you see Nigeria filled with Yahoo Yahoo? Because <clears throat> the level this Yahoo Yahoo have gone now, it is abnormal. The spirit is coming for your pastor. They are reasoning to upon you, upon, 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 you, upon you every Sunday. Every, every time you come, they are reasoning to upon you. One prayer point from January, January to December. Every year, same prophecy. As, as yes, yes, ending. They sit down, go on the internet, and check all that the news and come and, and give to you as a prophecy. So, I, I, anyone that works, I said it. Oh, I said it. I said this one. This, uh, this is not the way to give prophecy. These people, these people are agent of mommy, agent of Marian. And I want you to begin to pray against Marian spirit. Marian spirit that they have released upon your life. You will see what will happen as you begin to pray. And your eyes will open. They, many of them, they took their young boys, they call themselves uh, uh, pastors that they have raised up. They go and sleep with mermaid at Babich so they can be seen into the supernatural. This is how they get that country demonized. So now you have heard what I said, but I want to tell you that the power of the Almighty is the highest power. Every marine, God has said it. We are just waiting for you now. God said, Therefore, her plagues will come in one day. Death, the portion of marine. And all the people that he, he released his power, the beast, the beast in the water, and all the false prophets, their judgment say, therefore, their praise will come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she will be utterly burned with fire, and they shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges, judges the beast in the water, the mermaid, and the, and the false prophet that, he, that she discharged. And it is in the whole universe. God bless you, really good. You need to discharge this message because so many people out there don't know what's going on in their, in their life. But that means that this can be a blessing to somebody who hears this. It can be a blessing to, to your family. It can be a blessing to the people of Nigeria. It will help them to begin to run away. That these pastor, the pastors, this 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 demonic man, this agent of darkness, they don't deserve. They don't deserve your one naira. You are giving your money. Now, in my next video. I will tell you where Adeboye and the uh, the lost chosen is, is is paying their tithes. I will repeat it to you where they are paying their one tenths. Where they are taking your money to. God bless you. God bless you.